We have dropped anchor. Well, we're at our first spot today with Ryan Casey, our catfish guru. <laughs> we're down where it all started for me down here in Southeast Missouri, the Mississippi River. I spent many hours as a youth on this river. We've got real low water conditions and that's what we're gonna talk about today is how you can find, locate, and catch catfish in drought type conditions, which we've been having. What is on the menu this morning? Skip Jack. Skip Jack. Is that, is that Alabama or Tennessee Skip this Jack? Is hang on, hang on. That's Alabama. Roll Tide. Roll Tide, <laughs> baby. <laughs> We've located some fish on the graph. Of course, that's ideal with anything when you're trying to locate fish is using your graph and whatnot. We've got bait fish in here. That's another thing that we're going to be talking about is, is is, is what to look for as far as bait fish and why these fish are here. And uh, we're ready to get started here and hopefully we'll get a bite on something here just real shortly. Oh. Look here. Yep. Oh. Look here. Yep. There he is. Get him, Scott. That's a decent fish. I think he's on. <laughs> yeah, he's on. <laughs> you hear that drag going? Yeah, he's, he's definitely on. <laughs> We had one on this one right here. Yeah, he too. was. He, that that looked more like a flathead bite there. All right. That's a blue bite there. <laughs> I told you it wouldn't take us long, and we would be on a fish. We'll Gaining ground, all right? Huh? Gaining ground, all right? Yeah, he just pulled out a little bit. He's uh, he'd give him my ugly stick a, a tussle. Good thing about using a an eight foot rod, it does a lot of the work for you. And that's what's nice, right there. There he comes. I may have to walk towards the front of the boat. <laughs> he say he's coming, but I just don't see it. <laughs> that's the best I can do there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't pretty, but we got him, buddy. It wasn't, it wasn't real pretty. It wasn't real pretty, but we did get him. Well, we got him, and we got the power pole, too. Let me get on back here. Okay, we'll have to. There we go. Cut on that. Okay. Now, yeah. It now we got him. It wasn't pretty, but uh, <laughs> it got him. Very nice, Ryan. All right. That's an excellent start. You got that. And get this rod here out of the way. Oh, that's a nice one. That's nice, isn't it, Ryan? Yeah, that's that's, that's a, a good here, start. You hold your fish. <laughs> we got there. one here, right here. Is he old? Yep. Holy cow. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Look here. <laughs> Look here. Good start. Got another one on. I'll tell you what, man. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a pretty good day. I've got another fish might be coming. And that one's on there. Is he? Yeah, I think so. He just reeled down to him. He's swimming up river with it, I think. Okay. Let me put this fish in. Well, that's a nice fish, guy. Oh, that is. Oh. <laughs> So I guess you want me to get the net. Uh, we're almost there. We haven't even got, I ain't even got the. <laughs> I think this drag's a little tight. This, I ain't even got the, this out yet. This thing about just drug me into the water. <laughs> well, you know, catfishing's been around for forever. And uh, you know, the techniques have changed, the equipment's changed. Um, you don't have to have the biggest, best equipment, but I mean, it's out there, and that's that's kind of what's making uh, cat fishermen in general more effective is the equipment that we have available to us today. I'm sure how big. <laughs> that's another pretty decent fish here. Hang on. Good night. Just hang on to him for a little bit. <laughs> you know, back in the day, you know, catfishing's always been something that most people kind of were grown up doing, you know, and, and got their, their teeth cut on learning how to catfish. Bring him up right here for you. I got it. <laughs> Nicely him. done, Scott. I got Looks him, like bro. you've done that before. I've done that before. I've had a good teacher. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, buddy. Man, that's what I'm talking about, right? So what we're set up on here this morning is we're on an outside bend, and we're, we're on a little bit of a drop-off. We're on a rock revetment, and it comes up to 13 foot right here in front of us. We're sitting in 20, just kind of as it starts coming down and we've got 52 foot of water behind us. There's a lot of rocks in here, and there's a nice seam that comes down, and there's a lot of bait fish holding on it. A lot of little skipjack, you'll see them flipping on the surface, 
and uh, these fish will just kind of push up into this deeper water and hold right there and they'll come up on the ledge and they'll, they'll come up to the surface and feed on these little skipjack. And that's pretty good right here. That's, that's, that's a dang good fish right there anywhere. They're all healthy as they can be. Boy, you want to talk about fat? They oh, they are meal. fat. And that's one of the things, Ryan, it's why these fish are here is, and they're so fat is because of the bait, isn't it? Oh, the bait's here. Yeah. You know, that's why we moved down south in this low water is to find this deeper water. I mean, we've got 50 foot behind us here. Yeah. And, and the fish are going to follow the bait. And, uh, you know, in the evenings here, you can see the baby skipjack flipping everywhere. And uh, there's just a ton of bait and the fish are going to follow them. Let's get this one back in. What do you think, Scott? 